What's up guys? On this episode of Build Dad Build, we're gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna teach you guys how to smoke alcohol. That's right, get your drinking britches on. We're gonna smoke us some whiskey. So I have gotten a ton of questions in the comments about when I smoke whiskey. So I pulled my subscribers and it was like a resounding yes to make this video. I realize it's a little off brand. I promise the next video will be a build video, but we are using a torch and we are burning wood. So let's get to work. So I actually bought a how to smoke whiskey kit. So it came with a couple of planks. Uh, this one's hickory, the other one is oak. It came with a creme brulee torch, or as the kids like to call it, a dab torch. I don't know what that means. It also, uh, and it also came with this nice little, and this jar has seals that keep the flavor in. So first I'm gonna roll through how I do it with, uh, with the stuff that I got with the kits. Uh, but I actually tried to look this kit up, I can't find it anymore. And I probably overspent on it. I want to say that it was a uh, it was it was a subscription box deal for gentlemen. I don't know why I was getting it, but anyway, uh, I think it was like 45 bucks. And I think just piecing all this stuff out individually wouldn't be 45 bucks. But here's the kicker: I went to try to look for more of this wood, and for four pieces of it was 40 dollars. This is a piece of hickory. This is not a $10 piece of wood. So what I've come up with is what I like to call the ghetto janky way to smoke whiskey. But my wife said I probably shouldn't use those words. So let's call it the how to smoke whiskey on a shoestring budget. I still like ghetto janky better. First, we start with booze. Uh, this is a little maker's mark. You can, uh, you can go you can go a little lower on your whiskey, not to say that Maker's Mark is, it's just what I had available. Uh, but you can go a little uh, lower on your whiskey because the smoke is gonna actually add a dimension to it that makes it better. Kinda like when they do craft beer in a bourbon aged barrel, like it gives it that extra dimension. So you're gonna start out with a little booze. That should be good. So I like to drink my whiskey neat because I'm not an animal, but if you like to drink it some other way, totally understand. I actually watched a video the other day where the guy made a whiskey sour and when he did it, he smoked the lemons. That sounds delicious. So guess who smoked some lemons? All right, so first thing you wanna do is make sure this is whiskey. Yep, whiskey. All right, second thing you wanna do, get out your torch, fire it up, and you're just gonna heat this up. But the key is, don't get right on it either. I mean, you can get on there, but see how you're just, you're not getting a full area, you're getting that one spot. So you just wanna kinda cook it up a little bit, get it nice and hot. Once you start seeing some flames, that's always a bonus. You always wanna see some flames. Like I said, now you can feel some heat coming off it and whatnot. So I'm gonna stop it, bam. The smoke just go right up in that glass. And then what I like to do is turn this over. You're gonna quickly take this off, put this on. Oh, the rubber seal on there. Rubber seal is very important. And then dump that in there. I lost a clip. There you have it. You're gonna let this sit until the smoke in there kind of dissipates a little bit because that means it's actually absorbing into the liquid. Fancy. All right. Normally you let this sit a little bit longer, but you're just gonna pour it in. Now you sketch yourself a nice little smoke cocktail. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. It should have sat a little bit longer. You really want to let a little, a little bit more of that smoke kind of penetrate into it. Um, I can just taste hints of smoke. But, of course, depending on how you like it, maybe you just want hints of smoke. Taste test. Ah, that's delicious. Okay, so that's the way you can do it, but you can do it for much cheaper. Ghetto janky cheaper. Okay, it's not ghetto janky cheaper, but like I said, when I checked on Amazon to get four of these was 40 bucks, 39.99 which means each one of these, they're charging you 10 bucks for a hunk of wood like that. And what I found is if you look up grilling planks, not cocktail planks, 
you find uh, the planks that they use to grill like fish on the grill and stuff like that. And I found a variety pack. Bam! So in this variety pack, we have alder, maple, maple's delicious to smoke cocktails, hickory, hickory's delicious to smoke cocktails, cherry, never used it, red oak, oak is good for smoking cocktails, and cedar. I've heard that cedar's good, I've never tried cedar. So that's six planks. And here's the beauty of it. You can cut these bad boys in half. Because look at this, here's my glass, there's a plank. You just need a little bit of edge around it. So you just cut them all in half, you got yourself 12 planks. And these guys were $19.99. I'm no math expert, but I'm pretty sure this is cheaper. Actually, it's a lot cheaper. It's like a little over a buck and a half a piece of wood. So, do we like ghetto janky yet? Yes, we do. So please allow me to make six planks into 12. Hold, please. And you didn't think there'd be any woodworking in this video. Okay, step number one, same as before, whiskey. All right, step number two, always the same, make sure it's whiskey. That's questionable, we need to go in one more time. Yeah, that's whiskey. All right, we're good. Reload a little bit. Ghetto Janky tip number two. You do not need a fancy torch for this. Although I do love that torch. Everybody has a propane torch in their garage. If you don't, guys, come on. Okay, the one thing to know about this kind of propane torch is that if you hold it upside down, it's gonna go out. So we're gonna take Mr. Scully here, I'm gonna flip this up like that, fire this bad boy up. This torch will actually get the wood burning a lot faster too. I'll pull it out, drop it, bam. Okay, now we don't have our fancy little thing, so what we're gonna do is just take a glass, flip it over, take our booze, bam. And just let that sit in there. I mean, if you're crazy about it, you know, put something heavy on top of it so none of the smoke gets out. But you got a pretty good seal on there. Like, you don't need a rubber seal in there. Like, some smoke's gonna get out anyway. Okay, so I let it go a little bit more that time. By the way, this is cherry. I don't know if I mentioned that before. Never had cherry, so I figured I'd check it out. Definitely just got a nose full of smoke there. All right, let's check it out. Is that whiskey? Let me check it one more time. Oh, that's whiskey, all right. And that's damn good. All right, guys, and I'm gonna link to everything down below, except the booze, of course, uh, but I'll link to, to this torch, this torch, um, the grilling planks, the really expensive grilling planks, and the fancy drink smoke container thingy. I think you have to buy a half dozen of those, though. I, like, I don't know why, but I couldn't find anything but the half dozens. But hey, man, they're good for fermenting. I don't know what you're talking about. All right guys, if you liked the video, let me know in the comments down below. Give the video a like, it just lets me know that this is what you wanna see. If you have any suggestions for cocktails you'd like to see me make slash smoke, leave them in the comments down below. I would gladly do it. Back in the day, I was a, I was a mixologist. Shoot me now for even saying that. I, uh, I was a bartender in college. Uh, I worked at a college bar. I mainly poured beer. There was, there was none of this. Regardless, I will be back with a build video next episode. I can't remember what I'm making, so I'm not even gonna try to guess. But guys, if you like this video and you like what I'm doing here, do me a favor and subscribe down below. Again, leave me a comment if there's a cocktail or something you wanna see me make. Until next time, don't forget to get to work. And may all your cocktails be smoked. This is actually a viewer request.